Daryl Hamilton's Success Family. This video is for anyone out there who wants to be more enlightened, who wants to be uh, more self-actualized, who wants to be happier, more positive, uh, and want to experience more blissful, beautiful, uh, ecstatic states. So let's dive in. This video is primarily about gamma brainwave state. Yes, I'm going to be talking about your our brainwave. So let me quickly outline for you what it is. So we've got We've got delta, which is essentially when we're sleeping. We've got theta, which is when we kind of drift in and out of sleep. We sometimes experience this when we're like in the showers and we feel a little bit drowsy. We're really relaxed and tired. It's, it's the, the, the first brainwave state we experience once we wake up is theta. So uh, very, very uh, low vibrations, low frequency as well. Uh, then we've got alpha, which is associated with uh, creativity, with uh, with like a relaxed awareness. Relaxed awareness, I'll put there here. Relaxed awareness, creativity centers. The one of the best states for for learning, for for changing our subconscious programs. We experience through mild meditation, deep meditation. We fall into here, a mild meditation, very calm, very very aware very like there's there's no ego involved at this state there's no judgment you're simply thinking and you're far more rational you have fewer thoughts per minute so you can have uh you know 30 thoughts or less here 15 thoughts or less here and so on and so forth uh, so we've got delta we've got theta we've got alpha then we've got beta now the problem is and one of the reasons why people live in chronic stress is because they they spend too much of the day living in beta now beta is a higher frequency state it's more what we associate with um being judgmental being very much switched on processing so many different pieces of information so this is high frequency this is a uh, high frequency um, and we've also got high and i also do this uh, high high beta which is awful it's all about when you're really stressful when you're when you're overreacting when you're like your heart's beating you feel incredibly overwhelmed um that's high beta and that's 60 thoughts or more uh per minute overwhelm okay we don't we especially do not want to go to get to high beta now what's very interesting is we've also got here something called gamma which is what this video is about gamma brainwave state and this is interestingly the 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 highest frequency kind of like playing a, a flute it's it's the best way of me defining it here is uh, relaxed arousal and i'll tell you more about this later now interestingly enough for us that we don't want high beta we do not want that but we do want gamma we really do want gamma because let me quickly Whenever you're going to explain to someone why they should or, or learn about something or, or integrate something in your life, you want to start with the benefits so that they actually start listening to you. So I'm going to say it to you now so you understand the importance of this. Now, gamma brainwave state is going to st stimulate and activate neuroplasticity, which is going to enable you to change your thoughts, your emotions, your behaviors, your associations, your perspectives, your beliefs over time. That's how you get better results in your life. This is going to increase your levels of energy it's going to make you make better decisions more often everything's going to start to work more synchronistically um, and the key thing here is when you're in high beta everything in, is in isolation your brain is not functioning well things are isolated your parts of your brain aren't functioning optimally okay because you're living in a stressful response your primitive brain your medulla your and, and your limbic brain your emotional brain are the ones that are switched on you have fewer options you get overwhelmed all these sort of things not good now you want to experience gamma because that's where, where your highest levels of energy is. This is, and I'm going to teach you near the end of this video how to access gamma. And um, because now you understand the importance of gamma. Gamma is going to make you more positive. It's going to make you happier. It's going to increase your energy levels. It's going to make you more intelligent. Um, it's going to make you feel more vibrant, more alive, more joyous, more connected, more loving, more grateful. And that, that creates a, a mountain of love that you're going to use to, to propel you to become more resilient, more hardworking, more giving in your life. Therefore, increase your energy levels, feel like, like a quality giving human being. You're going to attract more abundance in your life because of the energy force that, you, that you're expelling, that you're putting out there. 
uh, and this is the, the key to spirituality, this is the key to enlightenment, this is the key to a deeper level of consciousness where you rise above just the, the limited conditioned consciousness that most people live in, which is low vibrations, not being very happy, very lethargic, be indifferent, living in chronic stress, chronic inflammation, all kinds of diseases, ailments, uh, illnesses, mental illnesses, all stem and derive from uh, high beta. But instead we're going for gamma. And gamma, like I said, is all about relaxed arousal. Now let me tell you how you can get into uh, gamma, now that we know the importance of gamma, right? It starts from here. These states, these are, these are subconscious states, subconscious states, SS, subconscious states. Um, so this is how you're readily able to change your, your behaviors, your programming and so on and so forth over time during these states. This is highly, highly like deleteriously alert state. Uh, and this is when we're conscious. This is when you're conscious. So it's harder to change when you're thinking so many thoughts. Uh, thinking about that. What's that person thinking of me? Oh, I don't have enough. I have financial problems. Or I have emotional problems. And she hates me. And I hate him. And oh, let's get revenge. And I'm bitter. I'm jealous. And, and we get involved in and we're judging others. We're judging ourselves. We're living in this kind of uh, very limited uh, time-bound perspective and consciousness, which we want to overcome. And I can help you do that. Um, well, part of this video will help you do that. So this is where we operate and we need to, even though this is very high frequencies, like this is essentially how it looks in the brain. Lots up and down frequency, quite a lot. And over here you've got, that's how it looks. Let me give, give you an out some eye. Okay. Um, so it's very high frequency, but it's, it's positivity, it's enlightenment. When you experience so let me quickly outline that. For you to experience gamma, you have to drop down here. You have to have your thoughts. So meditation, meditation is one of the best ways that you're going to, because you have to fall into these states in order to go here. Okay, you have to. Silence, peacefulness, stillness, and being very much at one, focusing on your breathing. I'm gonna show you a breathing technique that's gonna enable you to access gamma shortly, okay? So these are the, this is what you want to fall into. You want to calm down your mental circuitry. You want to relax your emotional impulses and states. You want to be calm. You want to be more thoughtful. You want to be more aware. You want to focus on your senses. Um, and I'm going to tell you how to do that in a minute. And that's what's going to enable you to jump to here without experiencing this. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to be here and therefore create this, this, this more enlightened the deeper level of consciousness and connectedness so let me also explain what happens in gamma as well you know why you know what you need to do um, let me explain what happens here when you get to this state everything starts to get connected the two hemispheres start to communicate more coherently together the, the, your frontal cortex starts to connect with your different lobes and there's greater communication and things flow communication and ideas because when you're going to function at your best when you have you ever done something you're like, you're like wow that was amazing did i really do that the reason why it was happening is because everything was flowing well all the different lobes in your brain your frontal lobe your the occipital lobe the back at the back of the head and all these sorts of things they all start to communicate one another so not only are the frontal lobes communicating with the back, with back lobes, the sides communicating with one another, another, and so on and so forth. You, it leads to greater heart and brain coherence. Your brain and your heart the, the match and correlate with one another. And everything seems to be connected. And when you feel connected, you feel that relaxed sense, that uh, really heightened. You're very alert. You're very focused. Here, you're, you're very calm and peaceful. Over here, you're very, you're very switched on. But it's like this, this energy feel that is so captivating, so beautiful and blissful that you feel so abundant. You feel and you release so much oxytocin, love, the love chemical, right? Love hormone. You feel this in great abundance. And this is how, where you want to create from. This is the state you want to experience as often as possible. It coordinates and connects the, the frontal lobes, the hemispheres, the back lobes. Everything starts functioning together. 
and it coordinates the central nervous system as well, as well as the uh, sympathetic nervous system, it stimulates neuroplasticity like I outlined. And this is where you create freely. This is when you are at your best in gamma, uh, because when the stress response is on, when the fearful response is on, you, like I said earlier, you can't make good decisions, you're not processing information, you're having the wrong perspective, you have the wrong mindset, you're being more defensive. Gamma is all about love, blissfulness, connections, synchronicity, okay? So let me outline uh, a bre the breathing technique. Yes, it's time. So the breathing technique as, as outlined. So when we breathe in, we want to we want to do so very slowly, very gradually, okay? So when we breathe in and we start taking oxygen into our, our lungs, uh, our diaphragm contracts and it goes down so that our lungs can expand, right? So we, what we want to do is, we want, I'm just going to raise myself here so you can see it. So we're gonna to want to breathe in steadily, very calmly, very slowly. And as we do so, we wanna squeeze our abdomen as tightly as we can. We want to pull in our, our stomach, almost like we want our belly button to touch our back. <sighs> kind of like this, I'm just exaggerating for you now, okay? So you're breathing in, you're tucking in your stomach as deep as you can, because you're creating the space for your lungs to expand. And you're gonna feel the oxygen in your chest. And what you're doing is you're sending your energy, your the, your primitive energy, if you will, your sexual energy, that's right, from your sexual organs, you're sending that energy up. And all that energy within your digestive system and all these all these systems within your body, these any primitive energy forces start to communicate and you're starting to send this energy up. And this is what it's all about. So you're breathing in calmly, focusing on positivity, on stillness. And as the level of oxygen rises in your body, you're gonna fill yourself up with as much oxygen as you can. And when you're at the peak, I want you to send your energy to the top of your head. And all this oxygen is gonna be sent up and all the energy, your spinal fluid is going to rise. You're gonna send it and signal it to your brain. I want you to be here, eyes closed will help. And you're gonna send all this energy to the top of your head. You're going to hold it there. You're literally going to hold your breath once your entire lungs are filled with oxygen. You're going to hold it. Chest out as much oxygen as you can. Nice and calmly though, there should be no stress. And just hold your breath for a moment. And really send that energy and focus on being relaxed. And you're going to breathe. You're going to once you hold it for several seconds calmly, without stress. You can develop this over time through practice, of course. You're going to blow, blow out nice and calmly and slowly. As though you're blowing through a straw. And you're going to practice that breath over and over again. And you can start to integrate things like visualization, mental rehearsing, re mentally rehearsing the quality of life you want. Once you get comfortable, just focus on the breathing. Inhale, exhale. You can start to integrate things like visualization, positivity, mental rehearsing to, to really create the kind of positivity that you want. And what you're gonna know is everything's going to start to flow more readily, more easily. Everything's gonna be more congruent. Your, your, your oxygen is gonna be able to flow more freely amongst your, your, your cells. You're gonna function better. You're gonna turn on your circuitry so that everything is finally connected. Blood and oxygen is gonna be flowing readily throughout your body and you feel so connected to your body and you feel so grateful, more so appreciative, so loving in this state. And that's where we want to create. If you do that kind of breath several times over, you're turning your, your you're kind of like orgasming in your mind, really. That's, the, that's one of the best ways I can put it. You're sending all that primitive, powerful, sexual, digestive energy. Because, you know, having sex and digesting food are the two most exhausting things you can do. Like physically, mentally exhausting stuff. So you're sending that energy from within your body and you're channeling up and it's literally exploding <laughs> in your brain. And that's that kind of energy is what we create and that's where we can produce and be at our best. And that's and when you do this often, you're gonna become addicted to this feeling. You're gonna become addicted to how light the feeling is, how beautiful and blissful the state is. And you're gonna to wanna to experience this all the time. Now, when you start doing it, it's unfamiliar, it's unnatural most likely, right? So you're going to need to become accustomed to this, so just be patient. But when you live this way, and you start to, to create that oxytocin, that positivity, your heart's gonna be pumping with blood. Your, your heart is going to be filled 
with love and oxygen and you're going to start to create more abundantly from this energy source and that's where i want you to live and it takes practice and patience and we can get there together so if you like this video you want to know more hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on youtube and, and also click the notification bell and i can't wait to work with you in the future stay strong and positive see you soon